Let's see. Three quarters cup sulfuric acid. Stir and simmer for two days. Good. That'll give me time to build more of the mechanized components of my great creation. A monster so horrible, so hideous, I shall have revenge on all those who betrayed Teddy. Teddy, my son, doesn't even want me around. Well, so what? So Teddy doesn't want me around. So what if everyone doesn't want me around? Between the orgy and my sobbing admission of shooting Teddy's father in the face back in 1975, everybody acts like I got goddamn scabies or hepatitis or some such shit. Well, I'll show you. My resolve is only strengthened to have revenge on Teddy's enemies, who are now my enemies for scorning me. Oh, oh, but what about the tenets of my religion? Why do I turn my back on the God who helped me survive with myself after the murder, with my long loneliness away from my son? Lord, help me! Ferdin, Mom, you, what are you doing in the basement of my building? Teddy, look, I know you're angry with me right now. What the hell is all this machinery, these chemicals? What's under this sheet? Don't look under there! Some mother you are. You fuck my friends, spring all sorts of weird details on me, and now you're doing some mad scientist stuff and won't tell me what it is. I'm out of here. Wait, Teddy, don't go. Not again. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you, Teddy. I've devised a plan to get the ultimate revenge on your former friends. All we have to do is... Bus, 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 bus. Holy Christ! Why can't I leave this closet? I've been in here since like episode four. It was gonna be so funny. Neil trapped in the closet. Dumb. This whole fucking thing is dumb. Neil Medlin's land to suck believe is more like it. Well, show him the damn magic box.